Hey peeps, what's happening? So I've been playing Alien Isolation for the past week since it came out on Tuesday, I think it was, and I've been enjoying myself a whole bunch. And I figured I owed it to you guys who were interested in potentially picking up this game to let you know what I think, if it's worth buying or if you should steer clear of this one. So just so that we're clear, this is only going to be like a mini review slash first impressions of the game because I haven't finished it. I'm probably about a third of the way through the game. I think it's something like 20 hours long. So obviously I can't give you my complete thoughts on the story and how the game is as a whole. But I have sunk a fair few hours into it and enough I think to give a good impression. Now I could talk all day about this game but I'll try and keep it as concise as possible to keep this video as short as possible. So I'm just going to say straight off the bat that I'm absolutely loving this game so far. I'm a huge fan of the Aliens universe and the Aliens franchise and particularly the first film. And I feel like this game is everything that I've been waiting for in a good Aliens game. So it's interesting to me that this game hasn't universally been well received. So if you go to Metacritic and have a look at all the scores for this game, it's very polarizing. You've got a whole bunch which are quite high and then you've got scores like 59 from IGN, which I don't think are reflective of the game's quality. But I do think it isolates how niche this title is. It's only going to appeal to fans of the franchise and it's also only going to appeal to people who are fans of slow stealth slash survival horror games. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the graphics and the presentation with this game. Now I'm playing on the PS4 and from what I understand the PS4, Xbox One and PC versions look all pretty much the same. One of the most impressive aspects about the visuals is the art direction and it, it's so spot on. It's really, really nailed the look and feel of the first film. I've never played anything that so closely resembled the source material. I mean, there's so many different little details and nuances. Like if you're a fan of the first film, you're going to get an absolute kick out of this because there's just so much to take in. The lighting in particular is really, really spectacular and works really well to set the overall mood and tone of the game. And it's used really effectively throughout the game. There are just so many little moments where light plays such an important part in indicating where you need to go or providing some sort of jump scare or just illuminating something interesting. I mean, just the whole way that the game is lit is just amazing. So while the graphics are really good, I think the audio is the standout for me. I believe it uses the same score from the first movie and obviously some original pieces too, but just the way that the music comes on at just the right moment to indicate when you're in danger or for dramatic effect. I mean, for the most part of the game, there is no music whatsoever because sound is so important and you need to hear where enemies are, where, you know, androids are, where other humans are, and most importantly, where the alien is. So like I said, the gameplay centers heavily around the use of sound, so it's really important to, uh, to hear where the alien is. And there's also a lot of subtle environment effects and noises that are really important to hear. So things like doors automatically open when, when someone walks by it, so, or even when the alien walks by it. So you can use these little subtle background noises to figure out cues where the alien is or where there is another enemy. And I mean, yes, you get a motion tracker to you know find out where the alien is or where other enemies are. But for me, I think it's even more important just to listen to sounds because the motion track is not really that sensitive. It only finds stuff that it's a couple of meters in front of you. Whereas listening to things in the environment can really give you a better sense of what's going on. For example, you'll learn really quickly what the save points sound like. They've got a very distinctive ping noise, which isn't terribly loud, but you need to save and you need to save often because this game has no autosave feature. And trust me, even after an hour of play, you'll be able to hear that thing from a mile away. My only complaint about the presentation would be the character animation and lip syncing. They're just both really wooden and really poorly done. The character models themselves, they're not bad, they're kind of like cartoonish or caricatures, I guess, but their lip syncing is awful and their, their animation is terrible. You can tell that they weren't motion capped for the in-game sequences. I think maybe they were for the cutscenes, but otherwise they're just really jerky animations. And when they talk, the mouths just kind of move like puppets. They don't really move correctly to the talking, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a little distracting. We've talked a little bit about gameplay, and like I said, it's a stealth-based survival horror style game. And like those types of games, it has a really heavy emphasis on puzzles and problem solving, which is something that I absolutely love. The game is set up in such a way that it's possible to tackle an objective in multiple different ways. So I guess everybody's playthrough is going to be different and it would mean that if you wanted to play through the game again, it's likely that your experience would be different. Because sound plays such a huge role in the gameplay, I would highly recommend playing this with a headset. Or if you're not playing it with a headset, you've got to turn the volume up really, really loud because otherwise you're going to miss stuff and lots of important stuff as well. 
not just atmosphere building stuff, but important gameplay cues that you're not going to hear. Like the alien makes little subtle noises when it's close to you. Like if it's hiding in a vent above your head, you'll be able to hear it hissing. You can hear it in the background. You can hear it in all different areas. And if you miss these sounds, it will definitely make the game a lot harder. One gameplay element that I really love is crafting and I really enjoyed The Last of Us and that had a lot of crafting in it as well and this feels very much the same. So you have to scour each level for different bits and components to make the various things that you need and there's a whole bunch of things that you can make from EMP bombs to smoke grenades to noisemakers to medikits. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of things that you can make and before you make them or before you can make them you need to find blueprints which are scattered around the levels. So it really makes exploration and and trying to find every last nook and cranny really important so you're not missing out on important equipment. In terms of game design, the levels initially feel really linear, but eventually it sort of opens up and it becomes almost like an open world. Like it's not a complete sandbox, but you can kind of go off and go wherever you want, whenever you want. There's always a clear objective, but it doesn't force you down the one path, which is really cool. The controls is something that I've heard a lot of people complain about. They're definitely not as tight and snappy as like a Call of Duty or Battlefield game, but it really gives you a sense of your character's weight and movement, and this definitely sets it apart from your typical FPS. Now the one thing that I haven't covered and I think it's the one question that all of you want to know is, is it scary? And the answer to that is hell yes it's scary. You don't see the alien for about the first hour or so of the game, and even that time where you don't see anything and you just hear sounds in the background is quite terrifying because you never know what's going to pop out of the dark. Once again, I recommend playing this with a surround sound headset to get the most out of it. It's just absolutely terrifying. So overall, if you're a fan of the Aliens films and you've been waiting for a game that captures the tone and aesthetic quality of the films, then this is definitely the game for you. It's got a huge amount of atmosphere. It's definitely the most immersive thing that I've played in ages, if, if not ever. And I think even if you're not a fan of the films, then if you enjoy your scary survival horror games, then you'll definitely enjoy this. Anyway, that's my thoughts and impressions on Aliens Isolation. Like I said, I'm about a third of the way through and I'm just absolutely loving every moment of it at the moment. If you're playing this game, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know where you're up to, what your favorite bit has been, if you're stuck on something. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.